How did this simple melody, with its words of comfort, become a beloved hymn of peace throughout the world? The backstory is that the young Austrian priest, a Joseph Moore, went for a walk before he wrote it, and he looked out over a very quiet, winter-laden town. He was inspired. The city was at peace. The year was 1816. In 1818, a roving band of actors was performing in towns throughout the Austrian Alps. On December 23rd, they arrived at Obendorf, a village near Salzburg, where they were to reenact the story of Christ's birth in the small church of St. Nicholas. Joseph Moore, the young priest who wrote the lyrics, played the guitar and he sang along with the choir. An organ builder and repairman working at the church took a copy of the six verse song to his home village. There it was picked up and spread by two families of traveling folk singers who performed around Northern Europe. In 1834, the Strausser family performed it for the King of Prussia. In 1839, the Rainier family of singers debuted the carol outside Trinity Church in New York City. The composition evolved and was translated into over 300 languages with many different arrangements for various voices and ensembles. It was sung in churches, in town squares, even on the battlefield during World War I and during a temporary truce on Christmas Eve. Featured in our Silent Night group today is Doris Wheeler, who started singing gospel music on stage at church when she was eight years old. In 1956, she started singing country music on Channel 18 in San Bernardino, California, and also sang on a radio station in Pomona, California. She sang every Sunday for the next 10 years at the First Presbyterian Church in Los Alamos, California. Silent Night has been a part of her singing repertoire. Candy Euler is a sign language interpreter. She has been trained in translating between a spoken and a signed language. Since American Sign Language is a completely different language from English, it cannot be translated word for word, so it requires considerable skill to be a sign language interpreter. Our guitarist is John Schoff a talented fellow who majored in economics, graduated from theology school, and is an Anglian priest who made his home with the First Presbyterian Church, Carson City, where he used his musical talents vocally and instrumentally. He has survived several earthquakes while living in Christ Church, New Zealand. The earthquakes didn't scare him away as John will be returning to New Zealand after Christmas, joined by his wife, Melissa. Enjoy Silent Night. Silent Night Home Heavenly peace 
silent night Holy night Shepherds quake At the sight Glorious dream from heaven afar Heavenly hosts sing hallelujah Christ the Savior is born Christ the Savior is born The song today is What Child Is This? Most British hymn writers in the 19th century were clergymen. One notable exception was William C. Dix. Dix's father was a surgeon who wanted his son to follow in his footsteps. But having no interest in medicine, William left Bristol Grammar School, moved to Glasgow, and sold insurance. He ultimately became the manager of a marine insurance company in Glasgow, Scotland. His greatest love was his prose and poetry for Christ. He wrote two devotional books, a book for children and scores of hymns. One of his hymns is this one, What Child Is This? Dix's hymns should be widely sung today for they are masterpieces of poetry filled with rich scriptural truths. Let's remember as we sing this Christmas carol, this child, this baby wrapped in swaddling clothes would be the fulfillment of a prophecy and our promises. He would be and is the wonderful consoler Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Will you join in singing as Will Euler leads?
You are listening to the story behind the hymn with Faye Wheeler. Stay tuned. We'll be right back after these brief messages. Christmas Eve. It's time for families. It's time for music. It's time for stories. Most of all, though, it's a time to celebrate God's incredible love for us in the life, the death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ for us. The wonder of the miracle of Emmanuel, God with us, the celebration of the birth of Jesus Christ, all are welcome to come join us in rejoicing on Friday, December 24th at 7 o'clock p.m. in the sanctuary of First Presbyterian Church. So come, as the old hymn says, come and behold him, born the King of Angels. O come, let us adore him. Welcome back to the story behind the hymn with Faye Wheeler. Thank you for listening to the story behind the hymn with Faye Wheeler. If you've enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe and ring the bell if you would like notification when this channel has new content. This program is a production of Aunt Betty's Studio, a ministry of First Presbyterian Church, Carson City.